The U.S. Treasury issued over $3 trillion in new debt securities in the first half of 2020 as the economy reeled from the pandemic. The largest buyers were global individual and institutional investors who took up almost $1.8 trillion of the debt. But a close second was the U.S. Federal Reserve, which bought almost $1.6 trillion of the new debt, or 46%. If the Fed had not bought almost half of the new Treasury debt issuance, most economists would argue that the massive new supply would have overwhelmed demand and led to lower prices and higher yields. The lower yields supported a strong equity market rally by reducing competition from fixed income and encouraging a search for yield and more risk-taking even in these uncertain times. The fusion of monetary and fiscal policy, which is a tacit embrace of modern monetary theory, may be leading to increases in long-term U.S. inflation expectations that are reflected in rising gold prices and a weaker dollar.